Today on the channel, like the great band Slayer once said, I'll kill you and your dreams tonight. Begin new life. Bleed your death upon me. Let your bloodline feed my youth. And today on the channel, we've got Mattel Basics, the bloodline. The Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Basics unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got the Bloodline back together again with Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, and the Usos. But remember for all your WWE Mattel and AEW Jazzwares wrestling figure needs make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about them we're gonna unbox them we're gonna talk about them we're gonna see where it goes from there and an interesting set of basics right here uh, some things that maybe were peg warmers and super cheap figures just a couple months ago now a little bit harder to find in Sami Zayn's case Roman Reigns paint by numbers of course and then the Usos crazy with the prices on Usos figures lately a lot of people want the Usos in their collection. A little bit harder to find some of their elites. So this is a very popular one here. And as you guys know, I dabble in some basics. I'm not all about all the basics. But when I do dabble, I try to make them as elite as possible. And we'll do some of that here in this very video. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's kick it off. And let's kick it off with my favorite member, of course, Sami Zayn. I've been a big Sami Zayn fan for a long, long time. Many, many years. Uh, just kind of the guy in the middle, kind of doing the work rate, being there, being entertaining. Finally getting his dues all these years later, which I think is really, really cool. I go all the way back to the Ring of Honor El Generico days with Sami Zayn, like a lot of you probably do as well. So very cool to see him uh, breaking out, being a bit of a superstar right now for sure. So Sami Zayn had to have this one. I said, you know, like most basics, I'm going to wait. I'm going to play that long game, going to find a deal. And I did get this guy very, very cheap. And this is one that doesn't really fit with current bloodline, what's going on era of Sami Zayn, but I'm going to try to sprucing it up a little bit. We'll see what happens here in this video. But let's take a look at the packaging. you got Sami Zayn's smiling face right there. He is the Intercontinental Champion, a very uh, cool t-shirt right there. I'm sure in uh, 20 years from now, people will be wearing that just like the Dusty Sucks Eggs and uh, things like that kind of shirt. I'm sure it'll be that iconic, or maybe not at all. But definitely looks good here. A bit of almost a, feels like a street gear Sami Zayn, but he pretty much just wears street gear to the ring and he, a lot of times anymore, it seems like. Uh, but definitely looking good. And this is a basic that uh, really didn't set the world on fire when this did originally come out, as we do know. This is from Series 134. They got my boy Shelton Benjamin in this lineup. You got Becky Lynch and, of course, Indy Hartwell. We did unbox the Indy Hartwell and the Seth Rollins here on this very YouTube channel. Check that one out. On the back, what's it say about Sami Zayn? Signature moves, the Haluva Kick, and the Blue Thunder Bomb. And he is a brawler. Is he a brawler? I don't know. What do you classify him? I consider him more of a Matt Technician aerial guy. A hybrid. A hybrid wrestler is what he is right there. But he's from Series 134. We got old Sammy. Let's pull him out of the package, see what all the fuss is about. See you later. Goodbye, Sammy. Got the old half basic package. We've seen this before. This makes a lot of sense. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. We got old Sam Zane out of the package, and he's feeling extra basic here. Not feeling too oozy, but he's feeling basic, is what he is. Uh, interesting head sculpt on old Sami Zayn. Got the big bushy beard, got the long hair, but it's definitely Sami Zayn. Or it looks kind of like the guy from, uh, was it Hermie the Elf or something like that? And he was getting his teeth pulled. And you got the lumberjack guy. What's that uh, little animated thing from like the 60s? It kind of kind of looks like that lumberjack guy a little bit. We got a nice little hairdo there. It's definitely Sami Zayn. Is this when the heads are removable? Yes, they are. They're removable on this one. So if you want, make custom Sami Zayn's. You could grab this off. You could make your own. You could uh, choose your own Sami Zayn head adventure. Uh, you really could do that. Of course, the shirt does say, I'm the Intercontinental Champion. Many moons ago was that uh, feud right there, but he was uh, in the hot feud for the Intercontinental title. I think he even had the Intercontinental title for a little short window as well. Uh, but it is a black painted on shirt, so not a lot of bells and whistles there. Speaking of painted on, you got the painted on uh, hand tape, wrist tape, forearm tape, all of that. Then he's got the very 
lime green uh, kind of colored uh, pants going on. You got a black belt. Then you got the black and white boots. Of course, you got the big laces, tons of laces. I would hate to have to lace these boots up. It would take a whole afternoon, it looks like there. Of course, articulation arms go all the way around. Single jointed elbows, hands back and forth. Head, we talked about side to side, back and forth is removable. Waist side to side, single jointed knees. Then you got the boot cut, nothing on the ankle. So pretty plain Jane as far as articulation goes, as we do know. But it definitely is Sami Zayn. Got to think we're going to be uh, bombarded with some Sami Zayn figures. At the end of 2023, into 2024, we know it takes a while to catch up. We do know any time now, Elite Series 102, I believe, will have Sami Zayn in it. But it'll be a little different uh, version. It's from uh, his Johnny Knoxville match, of course, to pair with that Johnny Knoxville from a year ago. So, you know, it takes about a year to get to the shelf, so it'll be a while. But one thing I did do is I picked up a Bloodline Soft Goods shirt here. I figured I'd throw it onto the Sammy, try to make him elite, try to make him feel a little bit different. And uh, that is my plan right here. So I got this. I'm going to slide this on, kind of dress this Sammy up just a little bit. And I'm sure we'll get plenty of these in the future in the basic and elite line, like I did say. But for right now, this is a nice little fix. And you can always use this Bloodline shirt with somebody else if you really need to. But it's a way to make your elites, uh, your basics elite, is what I always say, with some of these soft goods and different materials, things like that. Dresses this up a little bit, makes it a little bit better figure than it was. And it's very cheap and easy to do. So I think this does work uh, very well in Sammy uh, Zane's instance right here. I wish I had the uh, Feeling Oozy shirt, though, now. Uh, but does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Make sure you get the Mattel stands, as we always do say. And what do you know? He fits perfectly on the stand. He's taking his last stand. Sami Zayn's last stand right here, right there. Now we're going to turn our attention. Let's go to the two-pack. Or, yeah, let's go to Roman. We'll get the singles done, then we'll go finish with the Usos. Main event, Jay Uso. We'll finish with him, I guess. How about? Uh, we got old Roman Reigns there. This is probably the one I'm the least excited for of everything here at the table. We got a Roman Reigns from Elite Series 137. Just kind of worked my way into this figure a little bit. I wish I would have had a soft, good shirt for him, because I'm not really a fan of this needle movement shirt doesn't do a whole lot for me uh, but we'll see we'll see what happens love the red shoes here of course you guys know i either wear red shoes or my cheap trick patterned uh, van shoes i am a big fan big supporter of red shoes for many many years i love that people are giving uh, red shoes their due finally it looks really good so it is there series 137 you got roman on the top up top and then you got the big cross cell down below Looking for that Aaliyah. I got to find that Aaliyah figure. I do have Commander Aziz and Seth Rollins. We will unbox those on the channel as well. Uh, but on the hunt for Aaliyah, she'll come. She'll come with time. They always do. They always do. So there you go. Uh, read the back here for Roman. Let's see what's going on. Signature moves. The spear and the guillotine. And he is a powerhouse. Uh, I guess he would be a powerhouse. He's also a needle mover, as it says on his shirt, as we know. Uh, but let's pull him out right here. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Got the old half plastic prison on Roman. Looking good. Pull that out. Maybe get him out. There it is. Up high. See you later. Goodbye. And here it is. Old Roman Reigns. A good stoic Roman head here, though, on this one. I do like that. This would be a great one if you want to pull it off and put it on an elite or mix some things around. You could definitely do that with this Roman head. Got the hair up in a bun there, looking nice. Got his beard. Uh, definitely looks like Roman all day long. There's no doubt about that. Of course, the needle mover shirt, it is painted on there. It isn't, uh, you know, soft goods, anything like that. That's why a soft goods would go really well for this, for kind of an interview Roman, something like that. So I might have to look to that into the future. Uh, but looking really good. Of course, articulation going to be the same as Sammy. Single jointed elbows, uh, the hands back and forth. Of course, head back and forth, head removable, side to side at the waist, knee bend. And then the boot mold is has a little turn on it. And I love these red shoes. I'm all for these red shoes. I might need to get a more uh, this Roman figure, pull these off, and put this on my custom figures because I'm a red shoe guy, as I did say there. But it's definitely Roman Reigns. Uh, it's great for a kid, I guess, or it's great for an interview Roman Reigns, things like that. But if you're, you know, an elite collector, this is probably for you. You're probably going to get the elite Roman Reigns. Those probably be better, uh, better uh, suggestion there is what I will say. But does he fit on a ringside stand as well? What do you know? He fits like a glove there. The best part about this figure to me is the red shoes. I really enjoy those red shoes there. So there's Roman, there's Sammy. Now we turn our attention to the Usos, and like I said, Usos very hard to find. Even this Showdown 2-pack is uh, going well below, or well above market value, I should say. And we know those Elites that were released just not that long ago, 75 bucks for a while those were selling for, which just is absolutely crazy. And we've had a lot of Uso figures over the years, but not this incarnation of Usos until recently. And like I said, we are going to be bombarded with Usos in 2023 into 2024. Guarantee that's happening. We are even getting a ringside 
Collectibles Ultimate Edition 2 pack of the Uso. So, Uso Mania running wild. Uso crazy right there is what it is. But there's old Jimmy and Jay, the Championship Showdown. Got both pictures of them on the side. WWE logo. Really, really disappointing here that they only give you one tag team title belt. That is so strange to me. Uh, let's just share that belt. It's going to be like the old days. I think there used to be a six-man tag title for a while in WCW, and they shared one belt. It was weird. I don't get that at all. I'd say put two belts in here or don't give me a belt at all is what I would recommend there. Uh, is what it is. But then on the back, we got the cross cell, of course. You got the blurbs, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what it says back here about the old Usos. Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso, San Francisco, California. Uh, they are both brawlers. They're both from San Francisco. And their finishing move is the 1D. Oh, the 1D. Comes a SmackDown tag title. Roman Reigns, John Cena, the other two-pack. Becky Lynch, Bianca, the other two-pack in Series 11. Looking pretty good, though. Looking pretty good. I don't have any problems with it. Jimmy and Jay. All right, let's get them out of the package. See what's going on here. All right, there it is. Goodbye. See you later. And you got the Usos. Pretty plain Jane. I think this is a lot of reuse of old Uso basics we've had in the past. But like I said, uh, it's the best chance to get Usos right now in the tag team. This is flying off the shelves. People are wanting these, too. There it is. There it is. And there it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's look at this tag team title belt first. Not a lot of bells and whistles with this. It's the very dull plated edition as well. It's cool to get, but at the end of the day, if you don't have two, what are we doing? What are we doing? And that's where I'm at with this. I, I'd rather not have this at all than have just one belt for them to share. Then we get the uh, Usos here, and they got the same exact articulation as everybody else. Get a little bloodline right over here. Get a little red on the back, black pants throughout. You got the black uh, painted on wrapping tape. You got the tattoos going on here. Uh, you got the different hair colors. You got the red and the uh, black going on. But it is what it is. It's just kind of the Usos. Very, very plain Jane for the Usos. Would have been nice for shirts and stuff. I could see us down the line getting the painted on shirts, much like Roman. I think we'll see a lot of that in the future with some of these different uh, elites and basics. Uh, we're going to get some of those Bloodline shirts here. Uh, but both Usos got their tattoos. They, one's got the black riding, wrapping. One's got the white. Both got white shoes on. Would have liked to seen the red shoes. You guys know me. That would have been really nice. But... Pretty much is what it is. Uh, just not really setting my world on fire, that's for sure. We got Jay and Jimmy. Uh, it is what it is, really, at the end of the day. Of course, do they fit on ringside collectible stands? And there's one right there. What do you know? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside. Make sure you do get the Mattel stands. But I did, much similar to Sami Zayn, I got some We The One shirts. So I'm going to put these guys on here. I'm going to dress these two up and turn the basic into an elite and it's always the pro tip as i always do say so we'll put one on there there we go dressing them I feel like i'm dressing my kids back when they were little definitely makes this figure much better just definitely he's not fitting on a ringside stand well, i guess he is it's user error apparently uh but then we got another shirt right here and this really does make these better these makes these pop a heck of a lot more on your shelf than just some old basics would do. So I really, really do like uh, the idea of this. And it's always fun taking some of these basics and making them elites. Uh, it's, get your creativity juices going. They're easy customs in a lot of ways. So I am definitely here for that. So we the ones, we the Usos, looking really good. And he just doesn't want to stay on there. I don't know what's going on. But there they are there. You put Roman, you put Sammy there. And you got a very, very cheap bloodline. I think I spent 20 30 like $35 for this pack right here. So uh, not a bad deal if you're just looking for uh, Usos and uh, the Bloodline and Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn for an interview segment, something like that. Just a little display on your shelf. A very, very cheap way to do that instead of buying the more expensive Elites. Just depends what you're looking for, how big of a collector you are, and if you like to dabble in the basics. But definitely works for me. Does it work for you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on some of these basics. Do you dabble? Do you make some of your basics elites? Let me know that in the comments as well. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this and bonus content, of course. And then don't forget to about supporting the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And also don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the bloodline, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.